morning guys welcome back to another vlogmas i was gonna say vlogmas day something but i can't actually remember what day we're up to now already wow i'm sitting in the car about to head to the gym it is saturday and usually i don't go to the gym on weekends but we missed our thursday session this week just because um I think I mentioned to you guys like Kayla had a tradie coming to her place and then I had to work at the salon. It was just a busy day so we didn't get our session in so we're going to make up for it this morning and yeah I think we're going to do legs and booty. I think that's the plan so it'll just be like a strength and weights session. I'm not going to bring you guys in today because I did that yesterday and I'm trying not to make these vlogs super repetitive because otherwise they'll get super boring um, but I might pop some clips of my workout up on my Instagram stories so if you want to see a bit more of my workout, head on over there and check it out. I don't know what the plan is for today. We're catching up with some friends later tonight for dinner. But until then, I really don't know what the plan is. So I will see you guys after the gym and we'll figure out what we're going to do for the day. Alrighty guys, so I just got home. Today's session was so hard. Like I really, really struggled. I'm going to be so sore tomorrow and the next day. I can just feel it already. Like... I know my body is going to be sore after that session. It was a really good workout, but I feel like I just really pushed myself probably more than I usually do. So we'll see. We'll see how much I'm complaining about my muscles over the next two days. <laughs> Anyways, I just got home and Ben isn't here, which I'm very confused about. He isn't picking up his phone and I don't know where he is. So super weird. Usually he tells me if he's going somewhere. And usually he always picks up his phone, so I'm very confused and slightly concerned, but I'm sure he's fine. Um, hopefully I'll hear from him soon. He can't have gone too far. Cooper's still here, so he hasn't taken Cooper anywhere. I don't know. My brain's like trying to go through all of the scenarios of where he'd be right now, and I'm still very confused. So hopefully he gets home soon or I hear from him soon. But in the meantime, I am going to make myself some protein pancakes for breakfast. Pancakes have been made. I added some coconut Greek yogurt on top today as well, just to like switch it up a little bit. This guy is home. He got a haircut. Looking nice and fresh. And I'm currently cooking him up a batch of my protein pancakes as well. He has never had them before, so I'm really hoping he likes them. He's usually a bit funny with like my protein healthy recipes, but... I keep telling him how good these protein pancakes are, so hopefully he likes them. I made his with full cream milk though, and the batch came out so much more runny than when I use almond milk. So the pancakes are all funny shapes and sizes, and yeah, they look a bit strange, but hopefully they still taste okay. These are what Ben's ended up looking like. They look pretty good. Are you gonna do a taste test? Hey, Coop. <laughs> It's gonna be really awkward if you think they taste horrible. Not bad. Not bad? For like healthy protein pancakes? Pretty good, hey? Yeah. We got the tick of approval, guys. Can't really roll, I've got my backpack. Inside my backpack is my drone, I've got my water bottle, a couple of GoPros, a spare t shirt, my phone, the fire starter in case I need to cook. Hi, big boy. Oh, we've got another, there's a squid right there. <laughs> Try to get out of the water, you scared! There's a huge queenfish there. I was trying to get that squid. Now I'm just spotted a huge queenfish. Are you comfy? He's literally just like a dead weight on you. <laughs> You're such a baby, Keep. Every at the college Her friends play my songs and they been following me Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining and talking Just know she had coffee with me, yeah I hear you like pizza and dancing Love that is not that romantic, yeah I don't have no time for no antics Fly out my smile for the cameras Oh, they like me now Go ahead, wipe me down. She don't doubt a man, cause he ain't lock it down. Hey, do you think of me when I'm not around? Y'all hit the ground when you walk up brown. Look like, look like art. Look like art. Look like art. Look like art. Okay, guys. Like so art. I've just done a quick 
tidy up of the bedroom. I had some laundry to put away um, and I'm currently doing more laundry. So I feel like it's never ending. It's such a vicious cycle. But I wanted to ask you guys, my wardrobe is too full. I have too many clothes. It's like actually a serious problem. I don't know if you can see, but this top shelf here is fully bowed because it can't take the weight of all of my clothes. Um, first of all problems, I know, but I wanted to ask you guys if I created like a Depop account or even like an Instagram account to sell my clothes, would you guys be interested? I've never done it before because it feels a bit weird just like selling clothes and making money, but at the end of the day, I can't do anything with this stuff. Like most of it is pretty much brand new. I get it sent to me for fashion hauls or for shooting like photos for Instagram. And I'm like one body. I can only wear so many things. A lot of stuff goes out of season. Like I get sent a lot of winter stuff and then all of a sudden it's too hot here in Australia and I can't wear it again. It's just, I know it's really not that big of a problem in the grand scheme of everything going on in the world, but I feel like it's something I need to figure out and I don't know what to do with the clothes. I donate so much stuff, like that's not a question. Like I donate heaps of stuff, but a lot of this is brand new and I feel like it deserves to go to someone that would like really appreciate it and really want it. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a Depop account from me or is it Poshmark or something? I need to look into it and honestly figure out the logistics behind it, but I need to get rid of some clothes because it is seriously an issue. So I am back in the car. It is so bloody hot. I swear it's like 35 degrees today in Brisbane. At nine o'clock this morning, it was actually already 31 degrees. So it's got to be about 35 degrees by now. But I am heading up to Carindale Shopping Centre, which is where I was actually at this morning for the gym. But I'm going to meet Mel there. Sorry, the beeping for my reverse camera. I'm going to meet Mel there and we're going to go for a little shop. I need to buy a few people some Christmas presents. We've got my sister-in-law, Kristen. Her birthday is this week and then Kay Kayla's birthday is next weekend, so I need to get a couple of birthday presents. I might do some Christmas shopping while I'm there. We'll see what happens. The main thing is that I'm catching up with Mel because I haven't seen her in so long and I'm so bloody excited. All right, guys, I just got home from the shops. I didn't vlog anything while I was there because I just wanted to catch up with Mel, but I want to show you guys one of the things that I got. I obviously can't show you what I got Kayla for her birthday because she would see this and it would ruin the surprise, but I bought some really cool things for Ben and I with a birthday gift voucher that I had left over. Are you ready? I wanted these for ages. Fancy coffee cups. They're like double walled coffee cups and they have like a little thumb print, a thumb imprint thing so you can hold it properly. And they hold 400 mils of liquid. I asked the guy, cause I was like, these look really small. Like, would they be okay for a coffee? And he said, yeah, they hold 400 mils. Can I make a coffee? Yeah. Well, wait, this one's yours. I got like two different colors. This one has a tint to it. So these are the two colors. I got one for Ben. This is kind of like a his and a hers. I got him the, I think it's like a black tint. It's hard to tell. It's just like the inside bit. And then mine's like the clear one. But we've wanted some of these for so long. And then I had like a little bit of money left over on my gift voucher, like the tiniest amount so I got myself a little tea infuser with a little elephant on the back because elephants are my favorite animal how cute is that so all of my Tropica teas that I have are loose leaf and the only way that I can make them at the moment is in like a massive teapot because that's the only thing I've got that can like infuse the loose leaves so now I have this anyways that's all I got it's nothing like extravagant I am now gonna jump in the shower and get ready because we have to leave in just over an hour to go and to go and have dinner out with friends we're going to a Mexican restaurant down on the Gold Coast and I am very excited I'm ready to eat my body weight's worth of Mexican food. All right, so I've just jumped out of the shower and I have about 35 minutes to do my hair and makeup. So we're in a hurry. But I thought I may as well sit down and do my makeup with you guys and show you what products I'm using because it's been a while since I've 
uploaded anything makeup related on my socials. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my current like go-to easy, I wouldn't say it's like an everyday makeup tutorial because if I do wear makeup on a normal day, it's usually just like a tinted moisturizer or something, unless I'm shooting photos. But because we're going out for dinner, I'm gonna be doing it a little bit heavier. So it's just like my natural go-to makeup look. So I'm gonna start off with the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Natural Radiance. This is so glowy and just gives your skin like the nicest luminance. And then I also just go in with a little bit of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, just on like my T-zone and over my pores. I'm literally gonna speed through this guys because I'm in quite a hurry. And then for foundation, I showed you guys this the other day, but I'm going to use the Rimmel 25 hour lasting finish hydration boost. This is my third time using it and I actually really, really like it. This is the shade 170 wheat. I don't have any fake tan on at the moment, but I do have a little bit of color in my skin just because we spent about five days at the Gold Coast recently and I spent a little bit of time in the sun. So I've got like a little bit of a natural tan, but I think if I fake tanned at the moment, I would need a much darker shade. Also, you know how I said that I was gonna be breaking out because I'm due for my period? Well, <laughs> you would think that it would have happened on my face. It hasn't. It's happened on my decolletage. I've got like a bunch of random little breakouts. Decolletage. Do you know what a decolletage is? Deck of cards. <laughs> Deck of cards. <laughs> yeah, how weird. It's very annoying. I don't know if it's because of the gym, because I've been... Uh, s what? Too far. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the gym, if I've been, like, sweating, and... I don't know, but my skin, like, my face, is actually quite clear at the moment. So I'm very confused. Thank you, people, eh? Is he up on the chair? Can you guys see him? Cute, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I haven't used this in ages, but this product is so freaking good. Honestly, mine's probably expired because I've had it for that long, but I'm not prepared to throw it out because it's Chanel. And then for concealer, I'm just going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use the shade Light to Vanilla under my eyes and then I conceal any like zits or dark spots using the shade Custard. And then to set everything in place, I'm just going to go in with the Laura Messier Translucent Loose Powder. So I take a smaller brush just to do underneath my eyes and I just pat it in just cause that's where I am prone to creasing the most. And then I just use a bigger fluffy brush to set the rest of my face. And then for powder bronzer lately, I've been really liking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I used to use this all the time and I just kind of rediscovered it and started using it again. And I really like it. It's just a really nice shade for summer cause it's really like golden and bronzy. So I feel like now that I have a bit more of a natural tan, I can get away with it. I also just brush a little bit of it onto my eyelids, just into my crease. I'm really rough with this. Um, just down my nose, just for an overall kind of sun-kissed look. And then for blush, I've been loving Warm Soul by MAC again. This is like an old favorite of mine. And then for highlighter, I've been really loving this Clinique Powder Pop Flower Highlighter in the shade Luna Pop. It is so, so pretty on the skin. It's very similar to Benefit Dandelion Twinkle, which is another one of my favorite highlighters. See, look how pretty it is. And then I'm just going to go in with the Morphe Setting Spray and set all of that in place. I literally love the mist on this. It just comes out so continuously and so fine. 
It's so nice. All right, and then for my brows, I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Micro Pencil. These are really hard to find. I don't even know if they sell them anymore, but it's such a good dupe for the Precisely My Brow from Benefit, which I have just recently run out of. This has got nothing left in it. And then to set my brows in place, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Brow Set in the shade Be Beguile, Beguile? I don't freaking know how you pronounce this. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. I've had this for years. I'm surprised I still have anything left in it. <laughs> then I'm just gonna give my lash extensions a quick brush. I don't really ever do eye makeup when I have my extensions on just because I feel like they accentuate my eyes enough. Like I don't feel like I need anything else. I am going to grab that highlighter from before though and just highlight my inner corners just because I think it looks really pretty when you have a little pop in there. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. This is just the Mecca Max Eye Max Power Couple Mascara and I use the tiny little brush on the end. And then for lips, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Lip Liner in the shade P.O.T. Is that it? Yeah, P.O.T. <laughs> and then I'm going to hold off from doing my lip gloss until after I've done my hair because I need to blow dry it to like smooth it out because it's got a bunch of kinks in it from the gym and it's just all a bit messy so I'm going to blow dry it and straighten it and then I'll apply my lip gloss and for lip gloss I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm and that is the final look I'm going to try and remember to link everything down below for you guys all of the products that I mentioned hopefully I remember to do that <laughs> Honestly, linking stuff in the description box takes a lot of time and by the time you've like gone and edited and uploaded a thumbnail and all of that jazz, it usually slips my mind. So if I don't, comment down below and remind me to. We're ready to go on time as well, which is rare. rare. <laughs> um, this is my dress. I'm pretty sure I got this a while ago, so I can't remember, but it's either from Petal and Pop or Princess Polly. I will try and find out and link it down below. And then my shoes are just from Boohoo. They're just some cute little nude mules. Oh, and I've also put on a little necklace from, I want to say Colette. That's where a lot of my jewelry is from, so I'm gonna assume it's from Colette. <laughs> All right, we're in the car and we are on the way to Frida Soul. Is that how you say it? Frida, Frida Soul. It's a Mexican restaurant in Palm Beach. Their Instagram looks really nice. I've already stalked their Instagram to find like pictures of cocktails and food and get myself all hyped up. I only really give myself like one cheat meal slash cheat day a week so I say that because I'm pretty lenient with myself on the weekends I don't go too hard like if I'm gonna have a weekend full of catching up with friends I don't want to restrict myself like I want to be able to enjoy myself so you don't have I have heaps of friends so tonight is gonna be my cheat meal um, and I'm very excited about it Mexican food is my favorite cuisine ever like I everyone that knows me knows that I will go crazy for Mexican food it's generally every single year that's where I choose to go for my birthday is a Mexican restaurant so I'm gonna be totally in my element tonight I wish we could go to Mexico for our honeymoon or something Ben and I still don't know what we're gonna do for our honeymoon I actually need to fill you guys in on wedding stuff I realize I haven't spoken about our wedding planning for a while so I honestly don't have that much that's happened the main thing that you guys keep asking me is about my wedding dress because I think the last time I spoke to you I was still planning on getting my auntie in Melbourne to make it but just with COVID and everything it was just really uncertain with Melbourne's situation especially because they had some really bad numbers down there and they were in lockdown. I didn't know if I'd be able to travel down there to get my fittings done or to even like work out the logistics of getting my auntie to make my dress. It was just gonna be 
very complicated and I didn't want that process to be stressful. Like a wedding dress is not something you want to like gamble with. So I just decided to buy it instead, but I'm going to get my auntie to make my veil for me because that's pretty simple and I still want to have some sort of family connection on the day. So that's the situation there. A lot of you guys have been wondering because I posted on Instagram saying that I said yes to the dress and then I forgot to update you guys on that situation. So wedding dress is sorted. It's actually coming from Europe from a designer over there. So they said it's gonna take five months to get here and I think it's been about three so far. So hopefully I have it in my hot little hands in another two months time. What else is there to update about wedding stuff? done much wedding planning recently I feel like as soon as the new year kicks off we'll probably get like set out the invites no so we haven't done invites yet but I think that's the next thing we want to do I think we're gonna do them online though instead of like um, physical paper invites it works out to be less waste but also I think it's gonna end up being cheaper as well and a lot less of a hassle because we can literally just do an email list and send it out and then Someone actually told me the other day about a website that you can create. So it's like a website for your wedding and that is like where all of the details, the invite and like accommodation, all of that stuff is listed. But then after the wedding, everyone can go on and upload like photos to the website from the day and it creates like a group album from the wedding. Yeah, so I need to look into that because that might be the option we go down, go down, go with. Brains are working. So yeah. Invites and flowers are probably the next thing on the list. I was emailing a few different resorts down near where we're getting married to try and organize accommodation for our guests. So that's kind of like the most recent stuff or the stuff that we've got on the cards next. But yeah, other than that, we've still got about eight months until the wedding. And I feel like as soon as the new year clock's over, it's gonna get real because we'll be like we'll actually be able to say we're getting married this year. That's going to be crazy. Food was really, really good. I am like super tired now. I feel like every time I have a cheat meal, or like a big meal now, I get really, really tired from it. But anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas. Hi guys.